good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Dusty News Negro Network. You know, where nigga news comes first, man, and I'm so excited to be here. You brothers know the hot topic right now is Kim Kardashian in blackface. And you know who's mad? Sisters are checking her on that. We're going to be talking about that. Police dog jumps through a window and bit this dude ass up. We're going to be talking about that also. And you know I'm ghetto. I got to have my things coming up here. Colorado teacher smoking tweed up in the classroom. Lord have mercy, Jesus. See, oh, just dusty. But anyways, sit back, relax. Enjoy what we're going to be doing. Make sure you stay to the end now because one of these three will be getting the Dusty Award winner of the day. Let's get into the news. Kim Kardashian is making headlines on the internet. Man, this stuff is crazy, you dig? Y'all see her back there. Kim Kardashian married to Kanye West. Why she married him, I still don't know. He's crazy. But that's not what we're talking about today. We all know that Kim Kardashian is like a staple in black entertainment. You know, black people is really what, really who built her to that position that she's in. Not even her, all the sisters like Kylie Jenner, you know, I don't know all of them, but they all are in really famous in black entertainment and now in entertainment in general. Well, there's a controversy going right now and what is it? I'm glad you asked that question because Kim Kardashian just had a really, 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 really a controversial model shoot with this magazine called, let me get my iPad, Jeopardy Music. It's called, what is it called? Seven Hollywood Magazine. Thank you, God bless you, I'm getting old. Y'all see this, you see the outfit that she got on, the hair bob. If I wasn't looking at this and didn't know who she was, I would think she's somebody in the vintage Diana Ross and Supreme, a background singer, you know, baby love, my baby love, something like that. Now, sisters are pissed. Look at these comments, I'm gonna read them again. There's one, right? They're saying that she is in blackface check out this comment we're gonna read it right now off the ipad and we're gonna talk about this this lady who by the name of corey bush it's not cool or cute no i don't feel honored as a black woman some fear us first because of our chocolate they hate and mistreat us now you want to wear it like an accessory go rinse off our struggle anything for publicity all right now that's interesting now, I do think this is a cultural appropriation, definitely, no doubt about it. But in my own Negro way of thinking, what I feel like is what, what's happening is Kim Kardashian has a lot of people who are pretty much jealous of her, okay? This is just me th thinking of this, you know what I'm saying? They, they kind of hating on her. The reason why is because Kim Kardashian and her sisters and all of her plans in the black entertainment, they have been culturally appropriating y'all as a female base and y'all been supporting it. Y'all the ones that propped up Kim Kardashian. Y'all propped her up so high, she's high in every entertainment field. Y'all did that. Y'all, the women, y'all watch her shows, y'all do everything, okay? So y'all, 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 y'all watch the shows. She, she's dating y'all's men, okay? She having kids by these men, and y'all have always praised her along the way. Now you want to be mad, okay? A lot of y'all want to look like Kim Kardashian. So now she's out here doing this, you know, for whatever reason, trying to like a black woman. Maybe she thinks she's one. Y'all didn't accept her. So now you mad. Here's the situation. Can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't be a Kim Kardashian fan wanting to look like her, wanting to do everything that she's doing. And then y'all invite her all up into your community. You support her. You buy her products. You buy all of Kylie Jenner's products. You can't wait to buy all of their stuff. You know what I mean? You will buy her stuff before you buy another sister's stuff. Now you want to be mad. Guess what? That album cover or that magazine cover is going up. Okay? Thanks to you, sisters. 
because y'all propped them up. Now, let me tell you this. I like to see, me personally, because black women are the most beautiful women out there, okay? I'd like to see in 2020 and 20 going on further, and I'm gonna try to do this myself, we need to get these fine sisters on these magazine covers, okay? Y'all know that Kim Kardashian ain't black. She ain't working with nothing. Do you know what these sisters is working, or are working with in Detroit? Working with in Sacramento? Working with, you go to Africa? We got some beautiful sisters out here working with a lot, okay? I know, because I done, you know, I done paid some phone bills. But, you know, this is what we're talking about. You sisters really need to start promoting yourselves a little bit more and start, you know, giving all your attention and your money to Kim Kardashian and start giving it to one another. Shout out to the brother Phil. He did a story from the Philip Scott show at African Diaspora. This sister was working for a nail shop, okay? An Asian nail shop. They told her, why don't you go work with your people? Now, I would like to see you sisters prop up somebody like you did Kardashian. Do that again with Beyonce. Kim Kardashian don't even have no talent. Like, what does she do? Beyonce can sing. Like, when it's a black woman that's doing something, they got to be talented. When it's a non-black woman, y'all will support them. All they got to do is go out there and screw. Kim Kardashian don't have no talent. She can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you can't get mad when she want to then start emulating you because y'all the ones that propped her up. Y'all the ones that's buying her stuff. So y'all need to stop that foolishness, Ser seriously. And start propping up your own sisters and people and start propping up everybody else. Next video. We gonna go all the way from Hollywood and the Kardashians all the way to cold ass North Attleboro, Massachusetts. What kind of name is Attleboro? That sounds real British, don't it? Anyways, check this out. Don't y'all remember when you was in high school and you had substitute teachers? We used to be acting a damn fool. If we know that our teacher wasn't going to be there, we was in there throwing, throwing uh, papers at each other. Niggas was cursing. It was just going crazy, right? Most substitute teachers um, sucked. But this teacher is interesting. Because he decided to come into high school this day <clears throat> and teach a class on the effects of marijuana. What? Now, stop the show. It is honorable to teach our youth in America about the downfalls of drugs. That should be commended. Demon, give me the applause on that. That's good. That's good. That's good. The problem is, though, when you start smoking it in front of the dang kids. Damn. Not only did the teacher want to start, you know, talking about it, he lit it up just out there Snoop Dogg and it passing the joint around in the classroom. So the teachers, the students told him, let me say this. It was reported, they hid his name. Notice that when it's them doing stuff like this, they don't never put their photo up there, so we're just gonna have a John Doe in the back. We can't even roast him. But if that would have been somebody black, you know, like Laquan Davis, Laquan Reynolds, they would have had his face up there, social security number, date of birth, his mama address, where he go to church at, what, what day he sing in the choir. See how they do us? But they always protecting their people when they do stuff like that. Because you know he ain't black. Because we don't even, we don't, don't nobody black live in North, 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 North Attleboro. We, we don't even go there. Where, where, where is that at? All right. That's just dusty, smoking weed in front of the kids. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. You liberal states, Massachusetts, Colorado, California, this is the culture y'all are bringing in, okay? Y'all too liberal with all these laws, okay? So when the students got more sense than the teachers, you know the generation is struggling. Next video. We're going to go from Massachusetts all the way to Fontana, California. What the you? Let's talk about the altercation. You have a 31-year-old unidentified man, again, unidentified. He's stalking and harassing his estranged wife. Like some of y'all do when y'all in love over there just simping it up. Okay? This is what y'all do. She calls the popo, the police. And the police come out there and it's getting crazy as a standoff. So they got to really get more backup. So they come out there with the backup. They're telling the guy to get out the car, get out of his truck. He don't want to get out the truck. All right. So they better than me because if I was the police, 
y'all know I'm crazy. Anything might happen. But, you know, they brought the, the police out there with the rubber bullets. And they shot the rubber bullet into the car and broke the car window. The guy still don't want to comply. But guess what? There's no need for that because it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Super Duke. The dog. Look at this right here. This dog jumped through the window and bit his ass. Don't believe me? Let's watch. So as you see, Duke, a canine, jumped through there and just fighting his ass up. And took the man down. Now the man actually punched Duke, but Duke, the canine, was unfazed. He jumped through that glass, started wearing him out. You see them hops he had? He was looking like Air Jordan out there. They got the suspect, detained him, put him in jail. Now here's the thing with the guy I probably don't know. If you hit a police dog, that's like hitting an officer. So now you're going to jail for stalking and all that stuff, plus you're about to get a felony for hitting a police dog. And what I can say is salute! to Officer Duke, you know what I mean? I really don't like the police, but you know what I mean? I do like the police dogs, because them police dogs, you know what I'm saying, they actually be putting in that work, you know what I'm saying? So it's good to see that that dog had the fortitude and he jumped through the window, didn't care about no glass. You know, if that was me, I would've ran. But like I said, shout out to Officer Duke. And that is great police work. So it's been a very interesting show. We had Kim Kardashian in blackface. Sister's crying about it. You had the police dog who jumped through the hoop, but you know, he arrested this unidentified guy. And then the school teacher who was smoking weed that they don't want to say because they protect their people like that. So it's going to be hard to give the Dusty of the Ward today, but let's think of it. Think of what we can do. Tima, give me that. You know what? Cherry music. Drum roll, please! The dusty ass teacher that was smoking weed. Number one, you a substitute teacher. What did you do with your life? I mean, you already pathetic. I mean, think about it. Nobody grows up and says, I want to be a substitute teacher. You know, you threw your life away. People want to become a lawyer, doctor, you know, even engineer, play quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers, you know, the greatest football team in the world. But you, you can't do that. You ended up becoming a dusty substitute teacher that smokes weed in front of his students. They should lock you up for life, okay? And they need to put your name out there because you are disgusting, ruining these youth. These youth don't even need your help. All of these uh, influences on these young folks today. And you out there egging it on with your dusty stuff. And good on those high school students for telling on you for your dusty self. I don't know what you look like, but we're gonna take a John Doe picture and we're gonna just throw some dust on you because it's over for you. Tima, hook him up with that dust. Well guys, it's my time to get up out of here. I really, 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 really appreciate all of you brothers for checking me out. Make sure you subscribe, like, hit the bell. We doing this big time. Shout out to all the brothers that support the Dusty News Network. We keep these things popping for you and you only. Make sure you go to the first comment pinned to the top. Subscribe to me on patreon.com backslash Negro Manosphere. Let me do my sales pitch. Jeopardy Music, listen. It's good for you brothers to support the show. Five dollars a month, okay? Uh, what happens with that is we're able to support the blog, negromanosphere.com. You guys see it right there. Shout out to all the black men that get support and that, that, that actually rock with us in this movement. Uh, this is an all black male news channel. We do it uh, for you brothers. Entertainment, because you brothers deserve everything. But if you want to support what we're doing over here with the blog and with the show, 
Five dollars a month, that's like what, a shot of Hennessy a month? Y'all know y'all got it. Stop acting like I know you be in the club just triggering it all off. Go ahead and give your boy five dollars. All right. Don't make me because if I catch you in the club triggering it off, I'm telling everybody. All right. So go ahead and subscribe to patreon.com backslash Negro Manosphere. Appreciate you, brothers, for all that you do. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. We out.